But here in Revelation, there's something different happening. There's something odd, even. Because the prophet's attention is drawn to the throne first. And then he comes and sits on the throne. And there's a reason for that. Because Jesus had made a promise on chapter 3 that we would be the ones who listen to His voice would be able to, to share in His throne. So it's speaking back on Jesus' promise. He said, you will sit with Me in My throne. Now, let me show you how will that happen. So the throne means authority. The throne means lordship. The throne means dominion. Does that remind you something that we have studied before? Maybe Genesis? Maybe why human beings were created in God's image and likeness? And God's first command was for them to have what? Dominion! To be, to have lordship, to exercise lordship. In what way? The way God exercises lordship. You are built to imitate God. 